um, okay. because I think at that time we did not maybe we didn't feel that we had as much knowledge to actually ask her to be in a way to do that to I left in my 20s uh, I left the country and I didn't think that I knew that much to ask teacher but there was something that she did which was so unusual they have what are called improv classes here in ballet in modern dance they have improv there has been no improv in india i mean not that i knew of when i was going up but mm-hmm. teacher did it from did improv or okay. that was so okay. unusual there were no classes on sundays but she would call she would call me and she would, she would call another student sometimes she would on, only out be the only one sometimes prema prema chaturvedi who is now prema sadasivam ah oh, okay <laughs> she would call us and she said anybody in drinking a one no teacher sir vanga inga so teacher had to say vanga i said amma i'm going to teacher's house and she said okay and we would you know just be off and we were there at teacher's house and and she would call sita subramanyam mm-hmm. sita subramanyam sang for us for the longest time she was an extraordinary okay. singer she used to call her junior ms in those days mm-hmm. so she was sita lived a couple of houses away and she said sita when you want and sita would come and she say for instance you know lal gudi sir had just played his Mohan Kalyani for the first time in a kacheri <laughs> and the teacher had gone immediately and asked him that you know when you are very good you are doing a lot of hard dance for the time and she went to his house he sang it for her she had it on a cassette she played the cassette and she said avare pi paadrao apdiye kathukal ni say sita so you played it and sita listened and she was singing the first line she said sari panninga de and we looked at another enna panninga teacher 